Hi students, how are you? Okay, we see again in the last subtopic for the properties of ionic compounds and the covalent compounds. Okay, you look here. Okay, for your information, this uh, subtopic is simple, and in these textbooks are uh, very complete. Ah, uh, very complete. Okay, as you see here. Okay, it seems, as you see here, the learning outcome or the learning standard is just only to compare the properties of ionic and covalent okay, through the experiment. So, this experiment we will do okay, after we have a school. Okay, the second is to explain the example, the use of ionic and covalent bonds. Okay, so we look here. Okay, you have learned about the ionic compound and the uh, covalent compound. Okay. So, ionic compound that is a uh, consists of the ion, okay, Call that is a transfer of the electron. So, for the covalent, that is a sharing, okay, donate or uh, that is share, share, the, that means uh, berkongsi, okay. So, this is the experiment 5.1 we will do after we open the school. To study the different in properties of ionic compound and covalent compound, so they have one in a electrical conductivity and solubility and also the melting point and the boiling point okay three expect here we want to different between the ionic and covalent compound okay we will do so nanti kita akan buat so first at first okay based on the experiment 5.1 okay this is the electrical conductivity so uh, keupayaan untuk mengalirkan arus elektrik so you know that in ionic compound okay ionic compound is cannot conduct electricity in solid ha dia tak boleh uh, mengalirkan arus elektrik di dalam keadaan berpejar but can conduct electricity in a molten can conduct in a molten state and echo solution why covalent compound okay, covalent compound pula cannot conduct electricity in all state sama ada in solid state in molten state or the echo solution they uh, cannot to conduct the electricity okay actually you have uh, learned about the different for the ionic and covalent compound Ha, ionic and covalent compound at the beginning of this chapter okay, Masihkah kamu ingat mana pula dia punya chapter okay, Di chapter dia okay, Basic of compound okay, Kamu dah belajar ionic Kamu dah belajar mengenai covalent compound okay, Dan ini ha, Dan ini kamu sudah belajar ha, Tapi yang ini hanya untuk dia punya uh, comparison the uh, the formation of the bond okay but here we want to learn the uh, chemical property apa uh, physical properties for the uh, ionic and covalent compound okay first tadi yang electrical conductivity ya okay electrical conductivity so kamu kenapa okay why in a solid state the ionic compound cannot to conduct the electricity because in the solid ah uh, because in a solid ions cannot move freely kalau pemu reaksi nampak you tulis ions cannot move freely dah bagi satu markah Okay. Because they are tied by strong electrostatic forces Dia diikat dalam satu electrostatic forces yang sangat kuat okay. Therefore, solid ionic compound cannot conduct So, dia tak dia, dia tak move ha? Ions dia ada ions Tapi dia tidak bergerak okay. Not move freely okay. The second ion uh, Ionic compound can conduct electricity in a molten and aqueous Why? Because in molten or aqueous the ions are move freely maksudnya dia bergerak secara uh, la, uh, secara bebas ah become freely because the electrostatic forces okay electrostatic forces yang membentuk ionic ionic bond okay have been overcome okay molten or aqueous can conduct electricity but in covalent compound there are the molecule in covalent compound are neutral okay do so it do not carry any charge 
Okay, therefore, covalent compound cannot conduct electricity. So, ini tak boleh conduct electricity in molecule. Molecule, dia tak ada ions. Dia tak ada ion. Uh, dia hanya consist of the uh, molecule only. Neutral molecule. Okay, solubility pula. Okay, most ionic compound okay, are soluble in water but not soluble in organic solvent. Okay. In the other hand, organic pula, uh, covalent pula, dia not soluble in water but soluble in uh, organic solvent. Okay, so when dissolved in water, okay, water molecule help to overcome the electrostatic attraction forces between ion and break down the lattice structure. As a result, ion can move. Macam mana lattice structure? Begini. Bagaimana le? Lattice structure. Ha, ini adalah keadaan lattice. Keadaan kekisi dalam bahasa Melayu dia. Okay. Okay. When uh, the bigger, uh, the figure below. Okay. The lattice structure. Sebelum ni saya nak kenalkan. Lattice structure is the orderly arrangement of atoms, ions or molecule in a solid crystal. So, uh, this is bila dia belum lagi soluble dalam buat water dia belum dia masih dah lagi dalam bentuk lattice structure so the figure below show the solubility of sodium chloride in a water okay, how the sodium chloride dissolve in water okay why because water is a polar solvent polar solvent that is that has a partial negative here ah negative sini and the positive here ah partial positive so negative for the oxygen and Uh, negative for the oxygen high, uh, positive for the high hydrogen atom okay, positive ion, sodium chloride okay, sodium ion will be attracted to the oxygen, sebab sodium is a cation, so cation charge yang positif, dia akan attract kepada negative so yang negatif pula, chloride okay, ion chloride and ion we call n ion, will attract to the positive, ha, dia akan attract kepada positive, so the attraction forces between the atom water molecule with the ions of the ionic compound are strong enough to overcome the electrostatic forces between the ions themselves this enable most uh, solid ionic compound to be soluble in water sebab itu kenapa uh, solid sodium chloride it will soluble in water sebab uh, partial of the negative charge oxygen will attract the Uh, positif, negatif charge will attract the positif charge, so dia akan uh, soluble in a water, ok, ini ya in a water molecule, oxygen atom has high electronegative ok, oxygen high electronegative ok, then the hydrogen atom, so that's why kita panggil partial negative, ok, this cause the electron share in the covalent bond it to be pulled toward the oxygen atom. The unequal sharing of the electron create the partial negatively at the oxygen and the partial positive at the high hydrogen. So, organic solvent ha, kena dia tak is cannot overcome the electrostatic forces between the ions in a solid and ionic. So, the ionic compound are not soluble in a or solvent. Okay, ingat ya. Organic solvent ni dia cannot overcome the electrostatic forces okay so in ionic it's not soluble in organic molecule in a covalent are uh, neutral so dia adalah neutral and do not carry any charge dia tidak membawa apa-apa charge so that's why kenapa covalent compound are soluble in a organic solvent but not in a water Okay, itu solubility for the melting and boiling point. Okay, melting and boiling, you know that uh, you have learned the ionic compound uh, consists of the ions. Okay, consists of ions. So, bila the ions, so you know that the ions have the high, uh, the energetic, uh, energetic. Uh. Okay, so in a ionic compound, they have a high melting and boiling point. Kamu kalau buat nota, kamu buat ringkas saja. Kamu buat ionic, high melting boiling point. Uh, covalent, low melting and boiling point itu sahaja ha? buat compare reason ok therefore the ionic compound are not easily volatile ok so an ionic compound ok like a sodium chloride they have a positive and negatively charged and attract by another by the strong electrostatic attraction forces so when the heat 
is supply to the solar glow, right? So high energy is required huh, to overcome the strong electrostatic. Electrostatic forces ni sangat kuat. Adalah satu daya. The forces are very strong forces. So that the ionic can melt or boil. So dia memerlukan uh, tenaga haba yang banyak untuk memutuskan ikatan di antara ion. To overcome the forces between the ions okay dia nak putuskan to break down the uh, the electrostatic no required to overcome the strong electrostatic forces so that uh, ionic compound can be melt okay so the chloride has a high melting and boiling point so in covalent okay covalent low melting and boiling point why because covalent okay they have a uh, van der Waals forces yang tadi sodium chloride ionic compound they have a electrostatic forces in the covalent compound they have a van der Waals forces between simple molecule in a covalent are very weak so low heat energy hanya sedikit sahaja tenaga is required to overcome diperlukan untuk uh, overcome to weak van der Waals forces to overcome untuk mengatasi weak so dia uh, van der Waals tu sangat lemah so dia hanya memerlukan sedikit sahaja tenaga untuk jadikan uh, compound covalent compound tu untuk melt okey kamu faham tak apa maksud high melting point and low melting point high melting point maksudnya uh, memerlukan tenaga yang banyak untuk mengatasi tenaga electrostatic forces tadi low melting point is required to overcome the weak van der Waals forces kalau kamu punya explanation tak ada perkataan weak ha, van der Waals forces salah okay, ingat tu Okay, so, okay, ini pengetahuan am lah. Kenapa lizard ni uh, can stick in the surface of walls? Okay, due to the some electron from the molecule 100 fine or hair. Dekat tangan dia ada rambut. Ah. So, lizard can fit some electron from the molecule of the wall. This reaction, electromagnetic attraction, known as a Vendor attraction. Okay, structure of covalent. Okay, they have two structure of the covalent. First is simple. Second is giant. Okay, simple contohnya air, water, carbon dioxide. Giant molecule, uh, as example, is silicon dioxide. This is silicon dioxide. This is silicon dioxide. What the meaning of giant? Giant mean the combination of the uh, simple molecule become the giant molecule. Huh? Simple, tadi silicon dioxide dia jadi lagi besar-besar-besar-besar menjadi giant. Jadi besar. Water ni, dia hanya seketul water saja H2O but silicon dioxide dia akan uh, terbentuk di dalam bentuk yang besar dalam bahasa Melayu bahasa Inggerisnya is a giant so the structure for the simple molecule uh, covalent small and simple structure can be found in the form of solid liquid and gas so structure very untuk giant very large structure usually exist as a solid selalunya dalam keadaan solid ok dia tak kalau dalam yang simple ni mungkin dalam solid mungkin dalam liquid dan mungkin dalam gas ok untuk the chemical bond in a simple so covalent bond are strong in the molecule and when the forces between molecule are weak Okay, but in the giant, strong covalent bonds in the molecule, so no, no van der Waals forces, attraction forces because it is a giant. So, bila in a giant structure, they have no van der Waals forces. Okay, melting and boiling point. So, the simple, you tahu, the have only little heat is required to overcome the van der Waals forces. With, dia hanya sedikit saja dia, sebab dia uh, molecule simple kecil. Uh, but in a giant, they have a high because lot of heat is required to break the strong covalent compound. Okay. Next, this is the uses of the ionic and covalent. Okay, first in our industry, uh, industry in a, apa, what we call batteries, paint as a pigment and to pigment to painting solver, agriculture, untuk fertilizer, hari ni boleh baca sendiri lah, pesticide, medical sector, paracetamol, domestic, detergent, glycerol is a covalent. Ah. Okay, ini semua adalah contoh-contoh uh, kegunaan ionic and covalent compound. Okay, you look here. 
Okay, so at the end of this subtopic, you must do the test yourself 5.7 and also achievement test 5 until the number of 9. Okay, so saya bagi masa panjang sikit sebab banyak latihan, banyak kena banyak nota kena buat. So, next week baru kita jumpa. Okay. Uh, ada apa-apa masalah ke untuk ini so ada apa-apa masalah so settlekan untuk bab bonding chemical bonding we will see again okay we will see again uh, next week so settle down the the exercise the note okay then uh, have a uh, if you not understand please pm me okay thank you good night